over the other. Now let's start with the pirate, which, well first I wanted to give you guys a scenario of who would win at night and who would win during the day. So, let's go Ship's mate to either blend in with your 
the upper hand. 
shavings and pepper for, as I said before, a modern type uh, pepper spray for blinding their opponents. Um, yeah. And another scenario, I guess you could say, of what if these two met? to take out his target. So, I don't know, tell me what you guys think. If who would win in that scenario on a beach? Of course, I have to side with the ninja. And, uh, it all comes down to if the pirate misses on his first shot uh, using a pistol or blunderbuss, but then if he misses, he has no chance to uh, take out the ninja, or the ninja could be secretly holding a shuriken and take him out that way. discipline. I have to give the ninja the uh, upper hand on that scenario. Now if it's on a ship, a pirate ship, the pirate knows his surroundings, upper deck and lower decks, and uh, he has the arsenal on that scenario. The ninja was in his territory. Um, I'll say if it's a uh, whole band of cutthroats versus uh, a small assault team of ninjas. In terms of teamwork, the ninjas are very efficient. I ultimately gave their targets no chance for a rest or gave them no quarter to withdraw. They would pursue them until their mission is done. And of course I know if a ninja was caught by the enemy, <laughs> sometimes they would kill themselves in order them not to be interrogated or to reveal their uh, master plan intention from their employer or the lord that they have been serving to take out the target. Now teamwork for pirates. That's another story. <laughs> the pirates probably wouldn't get along with each other that much, I would think. <clears throat> so, in terms of teamwork, I would have to give the ninja the upper hand on that. Now, say if it's a famous pirate versus a famous ninja, what then? Say if it's Blackbeard versus Anzo Atori or Atori Anzo. Um, that's kind of a free for all <laughs> for me. That is something where anything could happen. But what I've heard about. Torianzo and Blackbeard is, uh, you know, Blackbeard was a very 
efficient killer to his victims and he would definitely take the upper hand in a fight like this probably using grenades since his beard was always smoking as you see in this uh, old pictures depicted of him and most likely to intimidate his opponents. Something like theatricality and deception <laughs> going into Batman there, but effective nonetheless. Now a Torianzo. He is a, was a very efficient killer back in his day. Carrying out orders from his lord or lords, <laughs> and he is from Iga, the Iga ninjas, were very famous back in Japan, and they have a lineage of uh, ninja families in the in those territories. So. Trained very uh, strongly, and they had great discipline, great accuracy, too, and a good supply of rations and weaponry. But, anyways, going back to Blackbeard versus Anzo. still siding with the ninjas here, so I'm going to say Hanzo, because simply stamina-wise and stealth-wise they have, or he has, the upper hand since he is a master of, whether it be ninjutsu or a very proficient assassin, and pirates weren't really known as assassins, they were either privateers or buccaneers, or either ruthless killers that had no sense of direction, so to say, in their, uh, in terms of fighting, I mean, did have a very big arsenal, but in terms of giving their bodies uh, the proper discipline that it needed, <laughs> they either weren't very fit had little time attending to themselves since they were either <laughs> sailing the seas or stealing the booty from their victims or other things of that nature. So for me, I would have to choose Hanzo as the victorious one in this fight. Sayonara.